In this video, we'll show you how to customize machine names at deployment time with vRealize Automation. I'll start navigated to the Infrastructure Projects view within CloudAssembly. If you haven't created a project yet, please go through this step on creating a project and adding a user. I'll open my development project, navigate to provisioning, make sure to confirm that you have a cloud zone added for this project, scroll to define custom properties. You note that we've added the name of cost center and value of dev project for our custom properties. And these will be used for our custom name template. For more information on expressions that can be used for custom naming templates, click the information bubble. You can see that we have a number of different expressions that are available to us. In this case, we've chosen resource properties to determine the machine name for our deployment. We've also added a number generator expression, which will add three digits to the end of the name. Once the custom name template is complete, click Save to update the project. Next, we'll navigate to our design menu and open our development template example. We've added a number of inputs that are available for users to choose the VM template that will be used for the deployment. We can do this by adding YAML values within the inputs portion of our cloud template. Notice that we've chosen to add CentOS or Ubuntu as image options for users. Looking at the image property for our cloud machine, we can immediately see that we have an expression to use the OS type input that's chosen by the user. Additionally, we're setting the OS type for the custom property, which will be used for the machine name at deployment time. Once we've added these YAML inputs and expressions, we can now select Deploy, name our deployment, choose our OS type, in this case I'll choose Ubuntu, and click Deploy. We're immediately taken to the deployment topology screen where we can watch the progress of the deployment. Once the deployment is complete, you can verify the resource name follows the custom naming template you created in your project. Thank you for watching this video today.